Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Eric here, your co-host of da -da 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 -da, The Hate Napkin. I am uh, your host, joining you from Columbia, Spank Me Sherman, South Carolina. I'm my special guest boozer uh, star, Carla from... Burnt Corn, Alabama. We're also sponsored by Day Drinking. Carla is joining us from Burnt Corn, Alabama, where she is the uh, uh, Archbishop of the local Dairy Queen and the... Uh, all right, give us your titular. Um, I am the... I'm not giving you my... No. <laughs> I'm a good girl. She is the manager of the local um, Burnt Corn Star and Gazette and the, and the editor-in-chief of the local Dairy Queen. Have a sip, Carla. <laughs> and the president of Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> well, there goes that. <laughs> you oh, know, I, want, I want to announce we have a new sponsor here at the Hate Napkin. THN. Carla. Carla is my new sponsor. And <laughs> I wanted to say sorry about tonight or this morning. I used to live in Charlottesville, Virginia. I was a sexton. I lived in this big cathedral, St. Uh, St. Paul's. Yeah, I, yeah, sexton. Basically, fancy word for man who takes care of the church. And uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm digging myself a hole. Well, that's what I did there for a job. But <laughs> okay. Anyways, I was a sexton in a big cathedral at St. Paul's Cathedral on the corner in Charlottesville. And uh, I opened and closed the church at night. I had this marvelous apartment in the church. It was great to bring home ladies to the church. They'd be like, what? <laughs> You're a priest? I'm like, no, I'm a sexton. <laughs> anyway, so we had like six, six AA meet. We hosted six AA meetings a week in this giant church. And I, I would set up for it. But then at break time, I would go out my window. I look out my window. I had this beautiful mezzanine I could walk out onto. And, and as soon as AA went to break, they claim <laughs> like the running of the bulls through Pamplona. They all clamored out as fast as they could. And you would just see this gigantic plume of smoke, insouciant cigarette smoke. Like they had, I don't know how they did it. Every single one of them had two cigarettes going at once, two donuts, and a giant coffee. <laughs> and, I'm just, and it was just like 30 people just intaking as much caffeine and nicotine and sugar as they possibly could and then they would rush back inside and then they would rush back out for another break and it was just it was just so so this it this, was this is how you knew you could get your sex then <laughs> this was just it was sad i was just like i mean listen al alcohol aa has probably done lots of good things for lots of people but it's but i'm only missing the donut um anyway so i just it made me really sad I mean, it was just, I just said to myself, I, will I don't care how bad things go. I'm never going to sit in an AA meeting if the entire point is at break time to replace alcoholism or alcohol with every other possible addiction. <laughs> oh, okay. So well, do we have any, do we have anything funny there, Carla? That well, came in we, via the, the we do, Express? we do. Um, I got this um, direct message from Renee Lang from the Great Northwest she got suspended from Facebook for 30 days for making a comment that um, one of the world leaders telling her why she was suspended. Um, she said, I'm appealing. They're taking hung to mean lynched bullshit. I responded back, the HAL 9000 computer does not understand idiomatic expressions. Now, if you said he had an attractively huge penis, no problem. I can't say white trash, who are my actual fucking people, but I can say melanin challenge refuse all day long. Tell me the difference. She said, um, uh, here's the skinny on the Facebook appeal process. You lodge a protest, you're given a number, and you use that number to fill out a long form. Then you have to hope that the appeals board decides to even read your protest, which means you're fucked. And all this can take three to four weeks, which covers the entire length of your suspension. I'd call this a useless appeals process, a possible suggestion for the hate napkin. Absolutely. Renee in the, uh, is this Pacific Northwest? 
Yes. Okay, so uh, some somewhere in the this could be uh, Idaho. It could be who knows where. Somewhere up that way. Washington. Uh, yeah. Okay, Washington State. Renee, Oregon. absolutely. The Book of Facebook. Let's 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 set you straight first of all. Number one, Facebook doesn't have any employees. Nobody actually works there. There's no board. Well, there's no appeal process. It's all a facade. The people doing the uh, this was just exposed in Newsweek uh, maybe a week ago. Um, the actual people that are that are looking at the offensive posts are people paid under a dollar an hour or so or a dollar an hour or so in like in, Bangladesh in, or Sri Lanka in Africa yeah yeah in Africa yeah and, right, exactly and they're having psychological problems because they're watching like whatever they're watching like people banging goats or whatever people are posting that are that's being flagged <laughs> Those are video they're... Christmas cards where I come from. Oh, well, they might be. You know, somewhere out there, there is a but... world leader hung like a goat being banged. <laughs> but yeah, the point is they're like psychologically just tormented by this. And, they ha and they're being paid nothing. And this is like the state of Facebook. They're actually outsourcing the few employees they do have are these underpaid people. And this is this was in Newsweek and it didn't get yeah, any attention. This, this... This this sounds like these people are ripe to become fans of the hate napkin. <laughs> right. We, we need to somehow figure out. We need to start targeting, but like you know, Gabon African go fuckers. You can do that right. and on the Facebook ad algorithms. You can target African right, right, right. go fuckers. Well, it's, it's not African go fuckers so much. Ages of eighteen to. 22 or such whatever. as is uh people from the continent of africa who who have a predilection no people from the no because they don't have the predilection people from the country of africa who are stuck viewing those with a predilection for uh godophilia and then you can make that post and it would slide right by the uh bot board they're over at the book of face so absolutely i think yes uh, listen also Basically, social media protests of any kind. The whole the whole idea of going to jail and in any of the social media platforms, folks, it is a computer running the whole show. And not only that, it's not a smart computer. It's like, it's like you know, we're we're still like how many generations before we actually get around to hell? Right now, we can't even get autocorrect right. Every time I try to say "fuck you" to Paul, he ends up "duck you." So there oh, you go. I thought no you much. wanted me to get the pay cut. Pecan duck right. again. Yeah, yeah. Pe pecan. <laughs> pecan. Is that is that is that? Well, over here we call them pecans, but you call them pecans. Okay. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> hey, speaking of which, speaking of, speaking of nuts, you know. Okay, A world leader hung like moose. <laughs> We're a leader hung like a moose for squirrel. to do a podcast with two drunk. This He's taking a sip of the barefoot. Does that, does that mean you have a barefoot fetish? Um, anyway, so world leader hung like squirrel for moose. <laughs> okay. Speaking of, of not quite, quite getting it right, this week I made a purchase. I'm gonna, this is kind of my uh, Andy, not Andy Rooney. Yeah, Andy Rooney moments. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, I'm really cranky because I went out and bought something today. I um, all right, but I did. I went out and bought a, 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 I bought a piece of domestic technology, um, a machine, this week. And I'm going to show you here, for those of you on YouTube, uh, I'm going to show you what it's called. It, and I want you to guess. A Turbo, turbo Force high-velocity high air circulator. No, it's a fan. I have. Ah, two. yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Look what it is, folks. Yes, it is a fan. But we can't just call it the Honeywell fan, mini or small fan. It is the high turbo force, high velocity air circulator. I thought it folks, was. The, that, I thought it was the Eric because you just go round and round and say things again. It blows. Just, it, <laughs> it blows. Well, that's why I bought it. That was, I feel like I got deceived. I own two of them. I, I, I returned it. I returned it to Target, and it said, "I said, listen, it says it blows." I took it home. I bought it some wine, made it dinner. Nothing happened. Like all your dates. That hurt, Carla. You got anything for the eight napkin? Bitcoin. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yes. How did this not come up? 
<laughs> How have we gone? And there's like 38. This is our 38th episode. And somehow we have missed cryptic currency. Well, I don't understand it. Second of all, every day I hear the FBI can't track it. I I don't really understand it. No, no one's been able to cogently explain why we should be doing it. I know Gibson's gin, um, but I I just I'm I'm sick of hearing about it. <laughs> it's only going to get worse from here, folks. Okay, yes, I think not just cryptocurrency belongs in the hate napkin. Pretty much all currency whatsoever belongs belongs on the hate napkin. But especially, I th what I think Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies do is expose the the ridiculousness of human economics. So let, let's let's a crash course in history. About oh I don't know eight thousand years ago, some morons walk, walking along, you know, in the in the Levant, and he sees this. Oh look at this! It's a shiny piece of yellow metal. I want that shiny yellow metal. But, but, but wait, what does it do? I, it does nothing. It's just shiny, beautiful metal. It has no purpose whatsoever. I will give you three goats for that shiny yellow metal. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Here, you may have the shiny yellow metal, and now here's yeah, three but goats. But you can't do that with Bitcoin. You can't use Bitcoin anywhere. I can't, you can't think of the, yeah, buy things the essence, with it. The essence of early economics, early currency, was nothing either. You couldn't do anything with silver or gold other than turn it into an earring. I mean, absolutely no purpose. I mean, think of the sale of Manhattan for seashells. <laughs> the, the, the seashells were only valuable to the people that said they had value. So now Bitcoin is bits of zeros and ones um, are hidden in some other series of zeros and ones and somebody goes and finds them and goes, aha, I have a rare series of zeros and ones. I want your rare series of zeros and ones. I will pay you. I will, I will give you three goats for your rare series of zeros and ones. And that's basically... Do you know what I do when people want to talk about Bitcoin? Drink? I was going to say you wouldn't get it. No, I actually, <laughs> leave, I actually leave the bar. Like, someone brought it up as a... They we're talking about it. I'm just like, oh, time to go home. See you guys later. I think you should be a little more... Uh, Stand your ground on that. I think you should pick them up by their uh, underwear and their collar and toss them out the bar. But yeah, no, I I don't get it, Carla. I totally agree with you, and I think millions of others do too. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, um, belong in the hate napkin, but just general currency. We will hopefully get to a point where you where can build, building a foundation of civilization somewhere where we don't need money anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, no hobble of fucktardo. <laughs> nice. How did I not notice that shirt until now? Because <laughs> hang on, I got I got one. Kids at the bar. Don't bring your kids to a bar. Oh, right, right, right. right. And Do not, I've yep. you see this more than ever over in Asia. I've seen Yeah, they just bring their kids to the bar. Don't want it. In fact, I was at happy hour and a little like schoolhouse rock session broke out and i think it was some filipino teachers and some kids and they're singing Is that in bangkok cambodia here oh, okay and they're singing these songs english songs on a mat at the bar i didn't know what was going on but i was like i gotta go this is weird time to go five little bitcoins sitting in a tree <laughs> <laughs> okay you're right <clears throat> folks but you see this even, in South Carolina, even, if, right? even if you're at even if you're at a restaurant with a bar you should not bring you know don't bring the kids up to the bar period end of story if there's a bar that you know do not put them on the stool kids just after like an after stools. 9 p.m rule would be fine but like right. kids at the bar at 11 o'clock at no, night no. kids should never come to they should be sitting at the bar with their parents Right. It it it, ro it robs the adults of their adult beverage experience. This is a this is a yes. no no. And as a teacher on my night off, I don't want to see fucking kids. I don't want to hear them right. singing English songs. Let's like, face it, the, the vast fuck? majority of people at the bar are trying to get away from their spouse and kids. <laughs> right. Don't bring your yeah. That's the second thing on that. Hey, I mean, don't bring your spouse to the bar. Don't ruin oh, that. Right. Yeah. Leave no, her at home not. too. What's, the whole point of going there is 
to like try to pick up somebody and get rejected. Can I also state that it's probably not appropriate for the children? Oh, well, yeah, there's that. <laughs> I mean, it's more about how are we gonna, my good how, time are we, how, how else are we going to inculcate them to, uh, to the, you know, the uh, environment and atmosphere of alcoholism? This I usually, buy, I usually show, buy the kids shots. Cheers. I usually, I usually send a couple fireballs over to the kids. I'm like, oh, give me a... <laughs> Give me a shot three ways. Make sure those two toddlers get a double. Bartender, can I get can I get a Kool Aid and vodka four ways? <laughs> hey, little, especially like little Bobby, who's like really annoying and running up and down. Hey, little Bobby, have that's a sip. Tequila. Yeah, that's when you send the tequila <laughs> over. Did you know that there's a worm at the bottom of this bottle? The only way you can get it is by drinking the entire bottle. You like worms, and Pretty right? soon, Bobby's really? not a problem Bobby, anymore. Bobby, Bobby, you like worms. Well, I think we're all friends of Bill here, except for Carla. Bill? Bill? <laughs> I got to leave it to you, Paulie. Nobody creates a dead silence on a radio show like you. Brought to you by THN Crickets. <laughs> THN Crickets. Whenever you need to stop a show dead in its track, <laughs> just, just pull it out of the jar and lay it down <laughs> on the table. THN Crickets. Okay. And then have we come to another, have we come to the end of another stupid and idiotic episode? Episode 38, season one of The Hate Napkin today was brought to you by Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, Bobby drinking worms from the bottle, <laughs> Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, and of course the THN high velocity air circulator. If you can't get a date, it really blows. <laughs> and our friends at Anchor FM. Oh, our yes, our friends at Anchor FM. Unlike Facebook, our friends at Anchor FM are real human beings, helping you produce your podcast show and providing you listening pleasure. The world over from Kiev to Myanmar. All right, folks, <laughs> join us again next time on season one, episode 39, where we will again travel down the annals of pain. <laughs> <laughs>